Hey everybody, playing more Pokemon Shield today. We have Peppa in the chat. Thanks for tuning in, Peppa. I think... Wait, do I already have a request going? I shouldn't. Yeah, uh, I think what I would like to do to start out briefly is... Uh, just like make a new team based off of all the stuff I have. Uh, or at least shuffle a couple members around. It'd be nicer if I could uh, juggle the items more easily, but... Yeah, just gonna do what I can. Oh, but I have to like... Maybe I just won't. Most of these guys in here don't have their Dynamax level maxed out. Um, which is kind of shitty, but oh well. So I think I'll start with this last team. And I have a few ideas of like similar typed Pokemon I can use. It just sucks that so many of these guys are heavily nerfed now, uh, not having access to their Megas. Uh, normally I would run things through like a weakness checker. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Who could I swap Tyranitar for? Tyrantrum? He'd be weak to Fairy. What else do I have? Maybe Cinderace? Uh, I have two Focus Ashes that way, I can't do that. I can do Perserker? I have him Choice Banded with U-Turn, that's not bad. Maybe I'll try that? Uh, do all of these have items? Everything except Como. What? Good item, am I not? Uh, maybe I'll give him a berry to resist fairy attacks, if that's a thing. Because I think they have that for just about every type, so you think they would have fairy too. Here we go. Since he's four times a week to it. No, oh, but I have to have him in a party. That's another thing that sucks about the whole, like, battle management system. Let's try this team out and see if it's decent at all. It's pretty fast, so that's good.
Oh shoot, I still have two focus dashes. I think that's okay though. Uh, it goes against my preference, but it's not against the rules. Uh, Peppa, remind me in case I forget to like download the new rule set after this. Because uh, Jack, I think, was telling me about that last night, and I forgot to do it. Not right now, after the battle. Oh, and he actually, uh, since he picked the rules, we get a different field, so that's cool. Uh, I should switch, though, because he's going to bug buzz me. What is the best thing to resist that? I'll try Alcrimi. I think she's specially defensive. Yeah, I'll try to keep you awake, Peppa. Uh... You know, I'm probably not going to be, like, screaming. Just kind of my usual, like, low-key thing. But we'll see. Uh, I hope you're not feeling headache -y tonight. Yeah, Sticky Web is kind of inevitable. I don't know if I have... No, I do. I probably have at least one Pokemon that uh, can deal with hazards. Like maybe Ferrothorn or Magnazone or Fortress. I don't. I think I have a Fortress. I'm not entirely sure. Oh uh, yeah, my mom gets weather headaches too. Yeah, I don't know, uh, like, where you are, and you don't need to tell me, obviously, but, uh, if you're anywhere in the U.S., I imagine that after the whole Texas ice storm thing, we might still be having some weird weather patterns. Who should I deal with Nido King with? I'm sure he's gonna use poison. So Berserker, maybe? Once again, we have, like, an all-shiny team. Or at least a couple. I probably should get on that at some point. Yeah, I hope so, too. Oh. Why did I switch into a steel type against a ground type? Put it on the list. Alright, I'm going to hope that even with my speed lower to stage, uh, that Alakazam can go first. I don't think Nido King's that fast. Yeah, Sludge Wave isn't going to do much. I mean, you know, enough because I'm squishy, but it won't kill me. I suppose it doesn't really matter anyway since I have a Focus Ash. I should probably try to keep my Alakazam alive to deal with his Venusaur. Yeah. I should really keep remembering to look at that 
team roster thing. What do I want to use against this thing? Probably Alchemy. By your special attack. It shouldn't be a problem. Iron Defense isn't going to stop uh, Magical Fire. Okay, it does have a secondary effect. I was thinking it did. 75 is higher than I thought, too. I thought it was like 60 power. Is that going to take my leftovers? No, I thought it only worked on berries, but I wasn't sure. It's not a lot of damage. You can probably just use Roost and beat me that way if it wants. Although that's just going to put us at a standstill. Could probably even take two hits. And then roost and get like, I don't know, 75% of it that damage back. I don't know what else I would attack it with though. Neutral fighting damage on Como wouldn't be bad, but it's gonna be weak to flying. And I don't think I've seen a single one of these that isn't running Brave Bird. Yeah, there's Roost. How much is that actually going to heal him, though? That's more damage than I can do, darn. How many boosts has he gotten? Two. Um... I could probably kill him in one hit now, but he's probably going to roost again. And I don't know that Pulte guys can get him in one hit. If I predict a switch right, I could get him out while he's buffing, use Shell Smash, and then Shadow Ball him, and that would maybe kill him. He must have pressure too, because I'm like out of Mystical Fire. So I guess that forces my hand, and he probably knows that. I feel like he's probably going to buff now, so I'm going to try getting Poltegeist out and buffed. the web I forgot about that oh body press okay that works out I should still be faster or maybe not shell smash should speed me up though I think that's how it works lower defenses for like better everything else and actually since I still have my focus sash I might use stored power. No, sorry, that spends my buffs. Doesn't buff me further. So yeah, we'll just see uh, what Shadow Ball can do then. Yeah, not quite. Oh, that's right. I have weak armor on him. So, uh... 
when I take a hit like that, my speed goes up. down okay Venusaur is a good matchup um, I'll have to use up my stat boost here, but I can probably one-shot it with stored power. That's pretty sweet. Hello, Jack. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, uh, I just kind of threw an impromptu team together, uh, and we're doing that. Snarl will probably kill me. Not quite. Surprising. Uh, so here, real quick, is what I'm running. Similar to one of my teams from last night. Uh, just with some different Pokemon swapped in. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I said before, like, I'm not opposed to doing doubles. I'm just like not set up for it. Um, shiny hunting or either like in the field or by breeding I think could both be cool. Uh, but it would be a little bit tough right now I think just because like there wouldn't be a lot to talk about so I'd be really relying on talking to chat. Uh, which then, like, puts a lot of pressure on you guys to, like, keep up a conversation. Uh, which, like, I don't want to do, because maybe you're doing homework or something, I don't know. Uh, so maybe someday for that stuff, uh, but probably not, like, right now. I guess, uh, a good question would be... I've been doing Pokemon these past couple nights. How interested are you guys in like seeing me do other games? Because I was playing Persona previously, uh, which I plan to continue at some point. And then I have a million other things in my backlog too. Como is pretty cool, so uh, I'm running Iron Defense on it to buff it, and then Body Press, which feeds that defense buff into its attack. Uh, Peppa, would I be correct in assuming that means, like, yes, you're down to see other games? Just to clarify. I don't know why I send out a dragon type against an ice type. It's dumb. I don't even know if I'm getting an attack off here. Okay. Sounds like Peppa's down for whatever 
Jack is maybe a little bit more into Pokemon. Good to know. Uh, what I would like to do for sure, uh, hopefully this weekend sometime, uh, like maybe Friday or Saturday, I want to get some IRL buddies together and do Jackbox. Uh, cause that's always really, really fun, you know, regardless of streaming. Uh, but I definitely want to stream it and then get like some audience participation too. So keep a lookout for that. I'm not going to promise for sure that I'll do it this weekend because coordinating people's time is hard. Uh, but eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later. So I managed to win with that team. That's cool. Uh, I think I maybe want to swap out an item, though. Because, like I said, I don't want to do duplicate items if I can help it. So I could give Poltygeist a mental herb, I think. That's like what I have on my shuckle, which would give it its stats right back after using uh, Shell Smash. No, I'm mistaken. That, uh... This is what it says here. It shakes off a binding move. Like Encore or something. I think there's an item, though, that like undoes your stat debuffs. Is that a thing? I'm going to Google it. Jack, if you happen to know, or Peppa, tell me. White, white Herb? Is that it? Yeah. I just got it like at the exact same time that you mentioned. Uh, I don't know if I have one. Here I do. Restore any lowered stat. Is it only one stat, though? Or would it work for... Um, Shell Smash with, when it's multiple stats at once. One or more. Okay. Reddit says it's, uh, gonna do multiple things and Jack confirms that so we'll do that then where am I going that's not what I wanted to do yeah because uh I'm sure there's plenty of situations where Multigeist would die in one hit but he didn't in that last battle so that's a decent reason uh to give it mental herb Uh, so we'll just give this new team another go. Alright, got that all set. probably bike again so I don't get like taken out by a bolt hunt
I still really wish I could just sift for shinies while I was doing this. It does seem to have trouble with uh, international players sometimes. Wanted to mix up the backdrop, but I ended up hitting something. Alright, let's get something queued up then. I'm already turned around. I think up there is where I came in. Where's this? Oh, it comes out in two places. I remember that. Another question for you guys in the audience. Uh, how did you find my stream the first time a couple days ago? Uh, like, did you just see it in the Pokemon category on Twitch? Uh, or did you happen to see, like, one of my social posts? Uh, you know, just curious. Metrics are very interesting to me right now when I'm starting out and getting little bits of data. This is a pretty tryhard team. These are all like top tier. Uh, Araquanid is probably the odd man out, but it's still good. Yeah, okay. You guys both found me through Pokemon on Twitch. And of course, it's shiny, right? When wouldn't it be? Another bug against Alakazam. It's not great. So, what are good options against it then? I don't really have great attack coverage on this team. Do I have anything super effective? No. Uh, okay. I would... I think Azumarill would be decent. I think I'll resist water and bug. Lunge. Okay, that's bug. Oh, but it debuffed me. That sucks. Zoomerill is running a huge power, uh, which doubles its attack. So it's just kind of one of those abilities that takes like an otherwise not remarkable Pokemon and makes it usable. Uh, and it's a little bit more fun now than it used to be just because of the added fairy typing. Uh, no, Peppa. I haven't actually played the Let's Go games. Um... Probably for the same reason that you didn't like them. They're just kind of like dumbed down Pokemon. Uh, and also, like, 
these days it's hard, like it's a hard sell, only having the first 150 plus like Meltan, Melmetal, and Alola forms. Um, the co-op is cool, but it makes it like even that much more of a brain dead game to play because you just add another Pokemon to your team without changing anything about what the opponent's doing. Yeah, the graphics are probably even slightly better than Sword and Shield. Um, there's some cute stuff. I think... So, I really like Johto. Uh, if they did a Let's Go Johto, then I would 100% definitely buy the first one and play it. Just to, like, have that under my belt. Shoot. I was not expecting Psychic. I'm so dumb. Uh, did I even get an attack off? I think it flinched me. It's really stupid. Um, yeah, so I might play it at some point if I can, like, find it on sale for 30 bucks at some point. Uh, then I would be more inclined to play it. I'm not sure how good my physical defense is here. Decent. Oh, but I'm fairy type. I need a, like a type chart sig in front of me. I can't make good choices whatsoever. Uh, okay. So he's gonna use steel now. That's almost certain. Maybe a berserker. I'll resist that and then try close combat. Yeah, I don't buy physical anymore, Peppa. I'm like, all digital. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just a preference thing. And again, like, I have a hugely bloated backlog, so I have plenty of stuff to play. I think I did see it on sale digitally at, like, Target or Best Buy, like, a year and a half ago. But I didn't buy it because I was like spending money on other games at the time. His Metagross is still faster than Berserker. I think this battle is just going to be a wash. Pulty guys has a decent chance of being faster, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't want to, like, be controversial, although I don't think this is really that hot of a take. I'm not a huge GameStop fan. Like, it's nice that they have deals sometimes, but they do plenty of shitty business stuff. Best Buy had that, like, game discount program thing, but I think that's actually ending soonish or has recently. But like the 10% or whatever that you could get back there was nice. There's also a site I found recently, uh, which I'm sure this is like not big news at all to anybody, but it's called, like, Is There Any Deal? And you can just use it to, like, bargain hunt. Um, I think it's for only, like, digital PC storefronts, though. Uh, so you might need, like, a couple for... if you want to add, like, consoles in there or in-person stores. Yeah, this is a pretty try-hard team, but, uh... I've also just been, like, 
handing him softballs by switching into weaknesses several times. Oh yeah, if you can like get a military discount or something, you know, that's great. Save save money however you can. I think I'm gonna try Alakazam. Even with the type disadvantage, which I am aware of this time. Uh I'm just hoping I outspeed it. Yeah, no worries, Peppa. You do whatever you need to do. Garchomp should be something I can deal with. Yeah, didn't think I'd one-shot it. Oh, but you can't do anything now, because you wasted a turn buffing. I feel like Dazzling Gleam is decently standard on an Alakazam. So I kind of feel like he should have seen that coming. But maybe he's just expecting me to be dumb at this point. Didn't even try to switch out. And now we have the question of who is actually going to go first here. I don't know who has higher base speed. But I guess I get to go. Now I'm kind of turning it around. Another battle question for you, Jack. Uh, so I don't have to like try to Google it. If I get a move disabled like that, is that for the whole battle? Or can I switch out and get it back? Oh, focus blast. Let's see if I can get that. Yes. Set <laughs> three in a row. Poor guy. Gotta be getting upset at me now. I feel like I'm doing the thing, uh... Like where people play pool and pretend to be bad. Check my status. For four turns. Okay. So it probably does get fixed if I switch out. Uh, oh. I would actually use it now if I could. Let's see... Dynamax probably gets around it. I don't know if I'm faster than Blaziken, though. That's, like, generally where my Pokémon knowledge is at. Like, I don't remember all the actual numbers for base stats and stuff. I just have, like, an idea of where the strengths lie for a lot of them. So when it's, like, now, and it's fast Pokemon versus fast Pokemon. I don't actually know who's faster. It's probably not a good choice that I D-Max though. Because he's squishy. Uh, and I did not use Dynamax candies on these guys. Uh, but I also have a pretty good numbers advantage now. Did I get him? I saw the health bar go down really low, but I couldn't tell if it finished. Because it looked away. No, okay. Yeah, he lived a little bit. My stash still applies, though. That's good. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... Dynamax is just so weird for so many mechanics. Probably gonna outspeed me now, though. 
Uh, but I can just, like, Aqua Jet on my Azumarill. And smart on his part, trying to go for a buff. If I didn't have a priority move, I could see where he might think he would turn this around. Blaziken's is like solid. He's got that speed boost. He's got an attack boost. Two turns of speed boost, actually. Uh, but a super effective priority move for that little bit of health he has is game. Oh shoot! I didn't know Psychic Train did that! No! Did that replace the terrain though? Are we on electric terrain now? Or is that a separate effect? Shit, now he's three turns fast. Uh. Yeah, that might have just been me screwing myself. Maybe I'll. I'll oh, yeah, made by my Alakazam. Yeah, that makes it all the worse. Uh, Como should resist fire at least. I'm gonna try that. I was just about to like launch into a talk about like how I'm proud that this hasty team got two wins. Uh, probably not happening now. I should check the field now. Okay, no more psychic terrain, but. No more priority. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to run. Yeah, let's just try Dragon Tail. And it still gets faster. Uh... I don't know that there's anything I can do, but I know that Como will die for sure to that. I'm gonna swap out. I assume it'll just use a fire move on me now. I'll try to get a recover on the off chance he uses bounce. Yeah. I think his speed is max now. Uh, I'll try iron defense. Oh, sure. Electric Train boosting that attack. I don't think there's any way that Iron Defense is gonna keep me alive, though. So my one hope here is that somehow Bounce doesn't kill me. And I feel like that's a long shot. Oh, did I just do it? Are you kidding me? No! No! I got paralyzed and it missed. Oh my god. I should have just used body press. Why didn't I use body press? I had so many chances to save that. And I whiffed on all of them. Dang it. Still, pretty good for uh, just a team I threw together. So I don't feel too bad about that.
All right, if we're going to do no restrictions, then I better use a fully leveled up team. But my instinct tells me that they're going to be like a real tryhard. Oh, they're using an Ash team. That's interesting. I don't know why they didn't like fully commit to it though. He has six Pokemon in Galar, and Charizard is not one of them. Theme teams are cool. I'm down for that. Looks like we got someone else in chat too. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing uh, single battles. No restricted rule jack, but at least I was like paying attention for once and caught it and picked a appropriate team. Also, uh, if you're doing an Ash team, like, get your cannon right. His peak choose male. Watch me sweep half the team with Blaziken. Do you have a stash? Yeah. Watch me immediately die with Blaziken right after I said I was gonna sweep. I don't think I have any priority on this team. Uh, what else do you have? Drakovish, Charizard, Surfetch. I think Gengar would be an okay choice to finish off Lucario and then roll into something else. The question is what attack do I want to use? Uh, I think Shadow Ball. It'll just like hit everything neutrally with stab damage. Oh, right, he has a Gengar too. Such a weird shiny. Like, why even bother? It's the same thing. The Mega's cool when it turns white, but... You know, they had the shiny long before it had a Mega. Does he just have Focus Ash and have his team? I can't complain too much, because I did that a couple of battles ago. By accident, at least. But I still did it. Yeah, and I'm not sashed. I totally forgot that Gengar got nerfed. Uh, it used to have Shadow Tag, and now it doesn't. I don't know who I want to use. Metagross will get wrecked, so not Metagross. I hope it doesn't have electric. I'm just gonna try Milotic. But Thunderbolt is like a really standard move, so it's kind of risky. I think every- oh, Thunder. But it missed. That's why you run Thunderbolt, kids. You're right, yes. I think he used to have Levitate and then Shadow Tag was the Mega. And the nerf was just to make him weak to Earthquake. Because people would always talk about that. 
Gengar was like the weird opposite case of a lot of Pokemon where he was on the ground, but looked like he was flying. Or I got that backwards. He was on the ground, levitate makes it seem like he's flying when he's not. Granted, I know he can float around, but that's not the animation. And then you have like flying and bug types that are in the air. Uh, and then they don't have levitate, and that feels weird. I almost feel like they should have like two ability slots for Pokemon. Uh, and one of them is like more active somehow, and then the second one can be passive for things like levitate. Yeah, Mega Gengar. Uh, I know a lot of people on Smogon complained about that. I would run, or I do still currently, run Destiny Bond uh, rather than Parish Song. Whimsicott could be good here, but I don't know if Leech Seed works against Dynamax. I think Toxic still would. Um, I think I'll try Metagross. Even if it has a fighting move, that'll only hit me for neutral. I mean, I'm, I'm surely... Surely it does have a fighting move. Maybe I'll Dynamax. I don't have any priority, so I wouldn't bite myself in the butt if I used uh, Max Mindstorm again. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I figured you'd try that. It's weak though. Oh, and that was a crit. It's really weak. Can I one-shot you? Yes. So what do we have left? Dracovish and Charizard? Can I actually remember their team for once because of the theme? How do I want to deal with you? I guess just Mindstorm again. I guess I'm not surprised that Charizard's faster. I don't think Dracovish will be, though. I should do a weather team at some point. I've never done one before, but they're kind of cool. Same with Trick Room. I was tempted to in Gen 7, because everything is so slow. Uh, I don't know, it just feels weird to have to have, like, a condition to use your team. And with a weather team, you can at least have something that, like, naturally has drizzle. Uh, they disconnected. That's kind of a bummer, but I know I was going to win that one. I'm going to put together another team. Uh... Probably a rain team, Jack. There's so many cool water types. Uh, I want to use Appleton. Because I love Appleton. 
Uh, let's do weave file. Those are both weak to fire, so that's not amazing, but as long as I don't pick any of their fire weaknesses, that should be fine. Uh, I could do Darmanitan. What is Sheer Force? Does Sheer Force just double your attack? Is it another one of those? No, it removes additional effects for power. So, Flare Blitz and Super Power both lose their negative effects and become more powerful. I wonder if that applies to U-turn. I would kind of assume it doesn't, because I have that on there. But that could have just been me, like, being stupid. Uh, Chandelure would be a good choice. Because with Flashfire, he'll literally absorb it. And I guess I don't have a Fortress. I thought I did. Not Superpower? Wouldn't it, though? Because... Superpower has the stat lowering effect. Like, I I read this as it removes additional effects, meaning all effects, to increase my power, not it only removes beneficial effects. Because Flare Blitz wouldn't be beneficial either. Unless it just, like, Depends on the type of effect. And like stat things maybe don't count. I don't know. Do I already have life orb on anybody? No. Could use Clonger. Oh. Having a... Uh... Okay, only chances like burn and flinch and stuff. Then I must have just like picked bad moves. Like a lot of these back in the day, I would like look at smoke and builds and then adjust it to my taste. Um, but maybe I didn't with him and I picked up moves or they could have changed it over time too. Maybe it like worked differently back in the day. Um, I kind of want to use Gudra, even though I already have a dragon, uh, because he has Sap Sipper. Having like multiple Pokemon like this to suck up certain moves would be cool. Wonder if I'd have anything with Storm Drain. What would even have that? I don't think I do. Uh, I think I actually have, like, this Gastrodon that they distributed. Uh, so I could try that. Literally the only reason I don't have this in my competitive box is because the name is in Japanese. So I'd want to, like, breed a new one and give it an English name. And also the speed, I guess. Uh, you can see I have, like, the maxed out stats in red and then blue means it's at zero uh because that thing was like made for a trick room team so yeah i'm gonna pass on that right now because of the speed um ferrothorn's fun but i do already have a grass type there was one time where i like I think took out five out of six of a person's team with just this Ferrothorn. Like, they were running a tryhard legendary team, but it was clearly like a kid or something, because they did not know what they were doing. Klefki could be interesting. Um, what does Foul Play do? I think it's based off of the opponent's attack. Yeah. 
So kind of situational, but interesting to use. I'll give it a try, sure. I can always, like, swap it out after a battle if it really doesn't work. Um, what other, like, attack type should I have? Like, fairy, maybe? Decidueye would also be fun, but I already have Grass and Ghost. What do I have that has fairy attacks? Katrine. How many special attackers do I have? One, two, three. I probably need more physical. I could do Cinderace with Libero. Uh, but that wouldn't be good for attack coverage. Because I think I already have pretty much all that. I guess I don't have Dark or Bug. Pinsir is cool. Not as good without a Mega. Absol has Fairy. And he's a mixed attacker, which is rare. I usually don't build that way. Justified isn't a very good ability, though. To run a physical Charizard. Do I have ground on anybody? Uh, that would maybe give me too many of the same weakness, though. Let's see, Pangoro would also be weak to like fairy and stuff, so I don't think that's the right choice. Tyrantrum would be a third dragon. Lycanroc. I think I'm just gonna try Cinderace. Uh just to like Well, now I'm second guessing myself though. Dreadnought. Dreadnought's pretty good. And what item would I want to put on him? What am I not using currently? And what do I have on my other team people? Choice items. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not like... I use choice items a lot, but I don't want to. Because they feel restrictive. Um, but I do actually need to put him in my party so I can give him an item. Uh, let's just do a grass berry. I don't see people using those all that often, but it's like an easy... I need to fill an item slot thing uh, when you have a quad weakness to something. Okay, let's give this team a run. Yeah, it was nice and fast. Mm. 
I'm gonna switch up the music too for once. The gym leader track in this is really cool. Um, but I don't like the vocals when those come in. Like, if they didn't have that, I feel like it would be such a better track. I get why they did it, because it's the whole sports ball stadium thing. Oh, we lost it. Gee, Jack, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and Peppa, welcome back. I threw together another team. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. So this one goes through. All right, good. Only one legendary. He'd probably start with me too. A lot of people seem to do that, put their lead in the lead. I also definitely am guilty of that. Shoot. We stay at a sash. I didn't remember what my item was. And now I can see if I can get him with Ice Shard. Yeah, let's go. Shiny Crocodile looks weird. Uh, I don't know if I'm faster or not. I'm gonna risk it, because it would be really pog if I killed it in one hit with Icicle Crash. Oh, but he sashed. I don't know Crocodile's stats very well, but I wouldn't have pegged it as being, like, 
so squishy that it needs a sash. Oh, and of course it has Moxie. Alright, what is fast enough to kill it? Chandelure. Oh, I still haven't downloaded the rules. Uh, remind me again, Peppa, after this battle. Because I will definitely forget again. Let's see. I don't know what move I should use here if I'm going to get locked in. Shadow Ball. I could always Dynamax. The Chandelure is pretty squishy. Inteleon's pretty cool. I don't know that I've really noticed his shiny before ever. I am going to Dynamax. I'm gonna hope I'm faster and I can just rely on my glass cannon power and speed to actually use this Dynamax and not die immediately. Sounds pretty cool in like Dynamax stereo. Shit. At least it didn't die. God, he has a sash on everything. Yeah, it's very like poison dart frog feeling. Being a reptile, uh, I guess frogs are amphibians, not reptiles. But, you know, the amphibians and reptiles are kind of similar sometimes. Um, but it, it feels like a poison dart frog with those really bright colors. Yeah, that was not a smart Dynamax. I was kind of second guessing myself and I should have listened to myself. Uh, but I should be able to, uh, well, it probably has ice, so I probably don't want to use Appleton. Uh, maybe Klefki? I'll put a polite screen and then see what it does. Looking at Kreffley's body now, the little pink uvula part underneath it is mildly upsetting. Cinderace, okay. Uh, I can probably live if I put up Reflect. Uh, the crown pass is the, like, DLC item. So, I'm not sure without more context if it's telling you to buy it, or if that's an actual item, then that means like you have the DLC, and you can go to the Crown Tundra from one of the train stations. Uh, like the one near your hometown. I'm hoping that he'll get just stuck in Paralyzed. No. Oh, but I, his uh, horrible missed. That's lucky. Yeah, uh, if you have the crown pass, it's likely that you also can go to the Isle of Armor. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a separate item, but I, I don't know. I feel like most people bought the DLC as a bundle, but maybe that's just me being presumptuous. So it's possible that you didn't, and you only have the Crown Tundra. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Dreadnought now, maybe? Seems like the most straightforward choice. Being paralyzed, he's probably not gonna, like, try that hard to save Cinderace. Yeah, I should have saved my Dynamax for him. Could have powered him up with Swift Swim. Yeah, go check it out, Peppa. Other than, like, new legendaries and, like, sort of light story content, the Crown Tundra does have the Dynamax Adventures thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, where you, like, do several Dynamax battles in a row with other players and uh, try to, like, get good items and Pokemon to fight some legendary at the end. What is he going to do with the Dynamax Durant? Steel isn't even going to hit me for super effective. So I'm pretty sure I resist it with water. Oh, Max Knuckle? Yeah. Lame. Too bad I don't still have Chandelure. I'll try Appleton. See if it's chunky enough to deal with that. He's gonna keep boosting though. That's gonna make it hard to live through. It's not bad for plus one. I might just try to like recover stall him if I need to. Uh, but I think leech seed right now makes a lot more sense. So I can take another hit. Oh shoot. Dang it. Oh yeah, and I had screens up. Yeah, I should have done Gudra. Uh, Peppa, I think any train station is okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I did the one near your hometown. But I don't think it matters. It might also have, like, an icon on your map to point you towards it, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. It's weird that Durant is this strong. Like, I know it buffed itself several times, but it's kind of like a sleeper hit. You wouldn't expect it to be hardly any good at all. No way I'm going to outspeed Dragapult. Yeah, I think that's probably game for me. Dragapult's just going to sweep my last two guys. U turn.
Got him down to two. Not too bad. Impromptu battles like this are kind of fun. Uh, cause like, I'm not that invested. Like, I don't necessarily expect them to do that well because they're so haphazardly thrown together. But then it feels like extra cool if I win. Yeah, Peppa, if you're uh, doing the DLC for the first time, uh, that should be fun. I think I'm going to... well, no, I'll do Team 6 for at least one more. I kind of wanted to call the Strahard team when I saw Charizard, Zygarde, Lucario. Um, but Zygarde is really the only super duper tryhard. I feel like the rest are pretty fair. Did they give out a shiny Gargard? A shiny Zygarde at some point? I feel like they probably did. I might even have one, I don't remember. If I could one shot him, that would be great. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Peony is probably who you're talking about, the new character. What version are you on, by the way? Uh, Sword or Shield. In the Isle of Armor, there's a new character that's different, depending on your version. And uh, I like the one in Sword much better. I think she's really cute. And the guy in Shield is just kind of a, a doofy goofball. On sword. Yeah, so then you get the cool chick if you uh, do Isle of Armor at any point. Yeah, there's there's a couple new characters, Peppa. Uh, there's new Pokemon, even in the DLC. So if you, like, haven't seen spoilers, then there's going to be some cool stuff coming up. Yeah, Clara. Oh, you're probably talking about the girl in the Crown Tundra. Uh, Chandelure seems like a good choice here, because then he can't extreme speed me or close combat me. Uh, and steel moves will be not effective. So Chandelure actually shuts him down really hard. Uh, but he sent out Milotic. I don't want to make the mistake of Dynamaxing again. Uh, Appleton would be a good choice, but he's going to be four times weak to ice. And I feel like a lot of people are going to run ice on Milotic. Um, maybe I'll try Klefki.
Yeah, did Peony give you a pretty big payout? Oh, shoot. I wanted light screen, not reflect. Bummer that I got burned, too. That's why people run Scald. I guess I'm not gonna get a chance to paralyze this thing. I think you were the one asking the other night about money tips, right? Um, get amulet coins, too, if you don't have them already. Uh, I don't know where you get them off the top of my head, but that's like an item I always use playing through the games. Let's see if I can get Milotic before it gets me. Yeah. Dragon Tail. I didn't think about that either. But weak as hell with screens up. Okay. I can just energy ball now. That works. And he probably will not be expecting it. Um... Honestly, I don't. I like Google it, check Cerebi or Bulbapedia or something. I feel like you probably get them like from a character or a certain place, um, rather than like finding them in the wild area. And I feel like you probably get it pretty early in the game too. I suppose I could Google it too. See if I can jog my memory. I didn't manage to one shot Aurorus. Uh, Motostoke outskirts, apparently, is where you get that. Which is like. Which one is Motostoke? I think it's, like, near the daycare. It says it's behind a sign by Galar Mine number two entrance. Uh, and I don't remember which one is mine number two, but your map should tell you. I think... Dreadnought for Charizard. I haven't run screens in a while, but I'm feeling like invincible right now with them up. Yeah, no problem, Papa. Uh, Liquidation would be a safer choice, but Stone Edge will one-shot it. Ooh, Focus Blast. And I don't think my special defense is that high. That would have killed me if I didn't have the screens up. But boy, do those screens feel good. And then Venusaur, I can just... Oh, I don't have ice. I think I have ice on, like, my story, Dreadnought. Let's we'll switch into Gudra. Oh yeah, I have Sap Slipper. And he's gonna try to use a grass move on me for sure. What a great little middle finger that'll be. I actually don't know how these type absorb abilities work with Dynamax moves. I would assume they function normally.
Yeah, get wrecked. No more light screen. Let's... I might as well with Animax too. Gujra's an interesting Dynamax. Because you just think about all the junk dripping him off it. Like, it's far enough behind me, but you just look at that and, like, that would. You know, it'd be getting, like, Nickelodeon slimed. I, they kind of imply sometimes, though, that Dynamaxes are, like, holograms or something like they don't have weight to them um but the anime seems to treat them as just like giant pokemon so i don't know maybe they are just like big and that's it i'm thinking like literally weight based moves don't work so mechanically there's that but i also feel like i remember a lore tidbit or something like some character offhandedly mentions or a pokedex entry or something that gave me the impression of them being like hologram-ish in like the sense that they're not fully there physically like a pokemon normally would be Welcome, mystery chat viewer. Uh, we're doing single battles. I think I'm about to win here. So that's pretty pog. Oh, geez. My latency is really high right now. I don't know why that happens. Again, I'm running like an underpowered machine. I still have like an i5 processor. So this team seems to be working out decently. I'll give it another go. I think I'm two to one on this. But if nothing else, the the screens on Klefki are feeling great. My Grimmsnarl, by comparison, on my Galar team, even though that also has Prankster with screens uh, and Light Clay, just like doesn't feel good. I don't remember. I have some fairy move. I don't remember what as an attack and then the screens and then something else and I don't remember what that other move is um I didn't get a thunder wave off on that last battle that always feels like a good option you have the opportunity to shut down your opponent uh if they are paralyzed for a turn this looks like kind of a tryhard team I say that about like every team Everybody plays tryhards, kind of. Um, but only one legendary. Starting off with Xerneas. Not a good matchup. Yeah, no good moves on it. I don't know if I have great options to deal with Fairy on this team. Between my two dragons and a dark type. I hadn't really thought about that until now, but that's three weaknesses. And nothing super effective. Shadow 
Chandler is probably my best bet. Switching into it's not great, with as fragile as it is. I figured Geomancy probably has a whatever herb power to just use it right away. Yeah, are you seeing Calyrex for the first time? Are you talking about Xerneas or Calyrex? Because uh, I either agree with you or disagree very strongly. I'm surprised he's Dynamaxing. He's probably just going to try to sweep me really hard. Xerneas, okay, yeah. I figured. Uh, I don't know if you're much of a mythology buff, but it's based off of, like, a rainbow stag from Norse mythology. I think. It's been a little while since these since X and Y came out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's based off of the thing I'm thinking of. I kind of just want to forfeit here. I literally don't know what I'm going to do against this thing. I guess I'll try getting screens up. Um, I could try a Thunder Wave too. Okay, yeah, yeah, I am thinking of the right thing. Uh... Ekbirnir? I have no idea how to say that. Uh... Yeah, there's deer in Norse mythology. So, I was, like, close, thinking of the right thing. GMAX on this Dreadnought, but uh, I do have Swissum at least. If I somehow manage to live. Uh, which type of Pokemon are you asking about Peppa Xerneas? It's a legendary. Um, so generally you're going to have a hard time finding it. I think it might be in the Dynamax Adventures in the DLC here. I'm 90% certain it is, um, but it might be one of the ones that are uh, exclusive to one version or the other, which doesn't mean that it would be impossible for you to find. You would just have to have someone with the opposite game start a raid with it either a friend or uh, just getting like lucky with randos. Um, like I think most of the box version legendaries are exclusive to either sword or shield. So the way that works if you haven't played those before, and I'm assuming you haven't since you're just getting to the DLC, is you'll get in there and it will show you like a little path, and at the end of that path is a legendary Pokemon like covered in smoke, 
and it will tell you one of its types. Uh, and Xerneas is pure fairy. So if you go in there and see a fairy type, then... And you can probably tell, too, with those giant antlers. Its silhouette is probably easy to make out. So you would go in there and see that, make it to the end, and then you have a chance to catch it. And I think... Uh, I could be wrong, but I think with the legendaries... Well, I was going to say it's like a guaranteed catch rate, but I feel like that's not the case. I think it's a pretty high catch rate. Uh, so you have like a good chance of getting it if you get to the legendary boss battle and manage to take it down. Which I did not do here. It couldn't even beat the one Xerneas. Almost did with Weavile there, um, but not quite. Yeah, that's like that's the kind of stuff that just isn't fun. It's literally just shutting down your opponent as hard as you can. It's maybe a little fun for yourself, but I feel like that has to get boring at some point, right? Like just completely steamrolling. A close battle is the most fun. Oh, I need to queue up another one. There we go. I don't know if I've seen Wild Dragapult here before. I think I will give Team Six one more go. Battle Tower is another good track. Uh, that was composed by Toby Fox of Undertale fame. Great game. Uh, if you've never played it. Very interesting team here. I feel like these are a lot of not A list Pokemon. Articuno should be decent. Um, I think all of them are decent. They're not bad. They're just not like the super overpowered stuff that everybody does. Yeah, Undertale. Undertale was a pretty special game for me. Like, I have the privilege of naturally enjoying a lot of stuff. I feel that there are a lot of people out there who don't, and that's a bummer. Um, but even for me, who enjoys so many different things, Undertale, like, really hit me in a way that not a lot of stuff did. Uh, and I was just enthralled with it playing it. Episode 1 of Deltarune was also cool. Uh, so I can't wait until Toby puts out whatever is next. If it's another part or the whole thing. I'm not sure. Kind of want to use Psychic here. But if he sends out... Well, I guess Drapion and Sharpedo are both dark type, so I'm not going to do that. I can hear like low tones in my headphones that I've never heard in the song before. 
Let's try Appleton. Might finally get a chance to actually use him without getting shut down. Energy Ball would have done great on Sharpedo there. Uh, if I wasn't suffering from a choice item. I love Appleton. Appleton's one of my favorites from this generation. Um... I don't know if I need to do a Leech Seed or not. Let's try it. He pro- yeah, he has ice. Every water type has ice, I should have seen that coming. Oh, and that was a crit. I couldn't have just been normal. He's too fast, I can't get a recover off. And now he's just gonna be too hard to deal with with anybody else. Kind of backing myself into a corner here. I don't see a scenario here where I... Why, why would you do that? Why would you not use Ice Beam again? Weird choice. I don't know if he's, like, throwing me a bone or what. But I can maybe survive an Ice Beam now? I think so. If it doesn't crit. So I should try getting Apple as it off and trying to actually kill this guy. And try to actually kill this guy. That was a weird sentence. Alright. There we go. Shapito's not bulky enough to deal with that. Yeah, now we're back to Articuno. Probably too fast for me. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll get a Leech Seed off. Substitute. Yeah, I can't see the Substitute. Yeah, the uh, end of the game city. I think I've bought most of the stuff from there. Because I did a little bit of money grinding at one point. Um, but... Yeah, I like even then, it's a lot. Now I wonder if I can break through the substitute with a Dynamax move. Because I'm pretty sure they can break through Protect. Um... Probably want to use Chandelure. Yeah, I know what you mean, Peppa. Like, it's weird when games put a really heavy economy into things when they don't need to. There's no good reason why you can't just give players easy access to all the customization options. Um, because they don't affect anything. Just cosmetic. But you also have the angle of, like, as a game designer, you want to, like, 
incentivize people to play your game longer. And things like that are one way to do it. Are you seriously sheer colding me? That is not poggers. At least it was on Chandelure, who is squishy to begin with. Uh, I can probably just knock it out with Ice Shard. Yeah, I think uh, they had like a pretty big selection there too. Yeah, it's a city. Uh, big cities tend to have like rich people. Could still go either way, but I'm feeling okay at the moment. Uh, miss. I oh, cross poison I think is a move with like a higher crit ratio. Let's hope I can just get off this icicle crash. Seriously, twice in a row. And after getting sheer folded. Uh, not having great luck. Oh. Bell Stinger boosts if you kill somebody. No, I'm not feeling as confident about this. Uh, but I think I'm going to try Dynamaxing here. I have like a decent spread with my attacks on Dreadnought. And if I'm remembering right, uh, G Max Quake or whatever it's called will boost my special defense. And that's always good. Another crit. I think he maybe has an ability to, to boost crits. Um, that's upsetting. That just feels like my chances went down the tubes. I imagine that uh, people living in a big city like that would probably... I mean, I guess this is like a really nebulous answer, but like, be involved with brands. Um, you see like so many billboards and things there. Why could I not Thunderwave him? Does he have like, Limber or something? Um, but for the wind and business thing, that's kind of true of real life too. In major economic centers like that, there's just a lot of business, which again is kind of ambiguous and generic, but you know, like you get more people together in one place and you have more goods and services as a result. I was just getting like a weird little visual glitch on my TV there. I was curious if it was showing up on the capture. I don't think it was. S 
still not dead. Who would have thought that a Drapion would give me this much trouble? Another crit. All right, well, uh, kind of abrupt here, but I think I'm going to call it for the night. Uh, I need to get more sleep, and I think this is a decent point to call it at. So thank you to Peppa and Jack and oh, it looks like someone else is just showing up now. Um, I was going to end, uh, unless a mystery viewer convinces me to stay. Maybe I'll do one more. I'll do one more for you mystery viewers and see if I can, uh, retain some viewership. Uh, if you are one of the Mr. Viewers just turning in, we're doing single battles. Uh, I've been running some impromptu teams I just kind of threw together uh, with decent success. Uh, not so much that last battle, but they've done okay. Um, but I might use one of my actual teams here. In particular, Team 5, I think. Because that worked out well yesterday. I don't know if the music I just chose is actually the one I want. The one where you fight Eternatus with the wolf sounds in the background is cool. And I like that more than the uh, music when you battle Zacian or Zamazenta. This looks like a pretty powerful team. A lot of hard hitters. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this isn't the one I wanted. It's not an awful track, but... Uh, I tend to like more like fast paced upbeat stuff. There's part of this that's cool though. They have like a leap motif that they reuse from the slumbering wield, uh, which is maybe my favorite track in this game and maybe even all of Pokemon. No, that's not true. I like uh, National Park from Gen 2. Uh, if I could one-shot this with... Oh, wait a minute. This guy, uh... Here's the leitmotif, by the way. Uh, but he did the... Not level 50 thing. So I'm not sticking around for this. I should have caught that. That's partly my fault, but... I don't want to subject myself to that. And I'm also remembering that I need to download the new battle rules, so I could do that. Now let's see if I can figure out where I have to do that. Uh, probably in here. What?
Here we go. Jack seemed to think that this would, like, give me some more options to do or something. I don't really have any idea what it's going to do, so we'll see. Alright, what did we get? Oh, we got a lot of rules. Awesome, wow. Okay, cool. Uh, rental teams are your thing too. I forgot about that. I could like, make rental teams to share with viewers or get them from viewers or just like, try some cool things that people have put out there. Uh, so that would maybe be a cool thing to do on another stream. Probably not right now. So let's see. I didn't sit and read all the rules. Um, but we'll see what this gives us for single options. Oh, wow. Uh, got a few more viewers turning in. Thank you for checking out the stream. We're doing single battles. I just downloaded some new rules. So we'll see if... Oh, but we lost this dude. Dang. Highly compelling stuff here, guys. Uh, I'm also running impromptu teams that I've thrown together. If that sounds cool or interesting and like something you would like to check out. Uh, you know, stick around, give me a follow. Let's see if we get something here. Okay, so we do have new rules. We can do three on th I think these top three are the ones we had before. There's now no Dynamaxing, no preview. Uh, certain Pokedexes. Oh, I can turn off special Pokemon. I think that's what Jack was talking about, because I said I wanted to turn off legendaries. Is there... Just like all Pokemon except special. Let's... Oh, but I don't want to do three. Oh, none of these are six on six. So that doesn't really do anything for me. Because I don't want to do three on three. Yeah, I got them already, Peppa. Um... But if they're all only three on three options, that isn't anything I want. Uh, I'm assuming Eternatus 3 is the track I was talking about before as the climax of the battle. Oh boy, try hard. Like, I don't know, 6v6 is so much more interesting to me. Um, but it would be really nice to play with some of those rule sets without special Pokemon. Although I don't fully know what qualifies as special. I think sometimes, like on the Pokemon Home trading and in the GTS, specials are like the event legendaries that you can't normally get. Um, and then like regular legendaries are still included, which is not what I want. I just want, like, all legendaries gone. This is the music I wanted. Uh, but this matchup is not what I wanted. I'm going to switch to Salamence. 
I'll resist fire and fighting, and he'll probably be scared of a flying type move, even though I don't actually have one. And Intimidate will help me out. Swords Dance, huh? So that puts him at plus one. Yeah. I don't know if he is going to one-shot me. I'd be surprised if he had an electric move. I can probably... Oh, is he going to baton pass, though? Hopefully not into a flying type. Eternatus, I don't think, has Levitate. It is Poison type, too. So Earthquake should actually be a really good choice here. Yeah, but he's too chunky. Uh, do I have a fairy type? Nope. I'm sure he's going to use a dragon move. I could maybe do Aegislash. And stall him out with King Shield. I don't remember... I don't think this has a recharge on it. I think that's a turn of beam. I didn't actually realize that steel or ghost resisted dragon. I'm assuming that was steel. And for that matter, I guess I don't actually know what type uh, gigantic beam or whatever the hell he just used is. I'm assuming dragon. I don't know what else you might have. Dragon and Poison seem like good options, but I don't know what else people run on this. Okay, he withdrew. So Swords Dance was a good choice. I don't think one is going to be enough, though. Blaziken's gonna outspeed me, probably. What? Why did I heal twice? Uh, I'm gonna King Shield. That should lower his attack. I'm hoping that I can do that, survive, get another Swords Dance, and then Shadow Sneak him to death. But if he has Flare Blitz, that is going to be easier said than done. Oh, the grass field was healing me. From Rillaboom's Grassy Surge. Alright, let's gamble and do another Swords Dance. Yeah, if you want to do it too, that's fine, dude. Blaziken is not tanky, so I don't think I need to be that powered up to kill it. I don't know if I should try for another King Shield or something. He is probably going to be expecting that. I'm going to hope that I can kill him with a Shadow Sneak. Oh, he has a Focus Sash. That's Garbo. Uh, do you mean that you found Lunala? Or just like some random wild Pokemon? What? Oh, he killed himself with Flare Blitz. I didn't realize that. I was thinking I was gonna kill him with Grassy Glide. Uh, but that is not happening against ho -Oh.
Oh, you're talking about, uh... The baby one. That looks like a uterus. It's not... Cosmo one. That's the middle one. I don't remember what the baby's called. It's Nebby is the nickname. I think... If you, like, continue with this story, she'll give it to you later. I, I think that's what the dependable trainer thing means. I don't really know what to expect from Howell, besides flying and fire. So I'm gonna see if I can boost myself. Maybe he'll switch. Or she, rather. Yeah, and I don't have a dragon move to use on this. And stupid grassy field is just healing him for me. What to do? It's only one boost each from Dragon Dance. It's not going to be enough to kill it with Earthquake. Probably not even if I Dynamax. Can't switch into Aegislash this time. Uh, I could switch into Excadrill. So maybe I'll do that. It's a waste to... Uh, lose my Dragon Dance boost, but Eternatus is hard to deal with. Yeah, the uh, Crown Tundra is basically just like legendaries from top to bottom. He predicted my switch. She. I keep saying he. I keep thinking about like the Pokemon rather than the trainer. And granted, Eternatus is like a genderless monster. Okay, uh, we're back. We had a stream crash. Don't know why, but seems to be fixed. Uh, unfortunately, the Palkia that came out took out my Excadrill and, uh, whatever I sent out after that, which I already forgot. Rillaboom. Uh, would have gotten Porygon, but I had Pokesash. Now, ho -Oh, I could probably actually deal with if I got uh, an attack off before it did. No, it's too fast. That sucks. That could have been, like, a turnaround. What do I even want to do? I guess Salamence is my only real choice here. Probably not going to win this one. Yeah, I can try double edge, but I don't think that's going to do much. What did it even do? I didn't pay attention. Some future move, like sky attack or something. Sunny day, maybe? I should check the field. Uh, its attack is down. That would be from Intimidate. I'm not really sure what happened. Yeah, Sky Attack, I figured. Oh, and that flinches too. Eesh.
Yeah. Close, but no cigar. And a crit to add insult to injury. I'd be shocked if Ball Corona outsped it. I don't really have great moves to deal with it anyway. Uh, I could have, but Hurricane missed. Can I use... Well, neither of them are very effective. So I guess try for Hurricane again. I don't remember what else he has. I could, in theory, one-shot them, but that seems unlikely. Urshifu's probably decently fast. Hurricane would one-shot him, maybe, if it hits. Oh, I took too much time, and now we're running out of time for the battle. Well, he's gonna kill me anyway, so we won't. Yeah, alright. Oh well. Okay, uh, now I am going to be done. I came back for like a couple of minutes just to finish that battle, but uh, like I said earlier when I almost stopped, it's getting late. Uh, and I think I lost all my viewers from the stream crash. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you retroactively to the viewers that I lost and aren't here anymore. Uh, and... Tune back in soon for more. Bye-bye.